Today, we got up early to ride the Waskily Way, and then we immediately went back to sleep and didn't ride the Waskily Way. These things happen. We're still gonna go riding, but first, it's a new helmet though. That is nice. So this is Met's latest helmet, version two of the Manta. First version of the Manta I've been using for ages and was the helmet that I rode across Vietnam. It's quite obviously an aero helmet, but it was also the lightest in their range and my favorite in terms of how it looked. This one, the version two, looks almost the same from the front, but they've changed things here at the back. Uh, they call this bit the exhaust. Apparently the changes at the back of the helmet make it more aerodynamic than the other one. They've also added Mips. I can't help but say it in a funny voice. This yellow stuff on the inside helps with the rotational forces if you crash, therefore making it more safe. And this is a thing I wasn't expecting. Fidlock fastening system. Magnum. Very kind of Met to also send through a white Ravel. So this is the same as what I've been riding this winter, just in white. So if we get any really hot days, up in Newcastle, I can wear this. Got new helmets and you're wearing your old one. I'm not quite feeling the white yet. You got to like build up to it. But I am going to wear this. Oh. So I'm obviously feeling a bit brave. Actually, I'm just going to wear this full triathlon. No rules, just ride. We could go swimming today, it's quite warm. I love to go swimming. I'm part of the Atticus Pink Jersey squad now. Did you know, Daisy, today County Durham is the hottest place in the UK? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Where are we going? I'm really hot in here, it's so warm. It's too hot. Uh, North is too hot. Where are we going? We're doing a route that Emily showed me. They used to do it like every day after work, or most days after work, but it goes, it's like a little triangle of gravel. Here's hoping we might get a little hand tan. <laughs> direction Daisy this is solid headwind everyone coming the other way is having a brilliant time we're just suffering really? this helmet is supposed to be more aero than the old one so I should be using less effort right now can you tell do I look aero hey, a fly. Oh, all the major food groups in a fly <laughs> get your fats proteins yeah. wings become fly girl. will you become fly girl what would your power be yeah, just sitting there rubbing my hands together like evil master. I don't know what flies do. It's all I know, they're like... Yeah, yeah they're rubbing their hands together ready to eat whatever's in front of them. Usually it's a pile of shit. Luke today is about 40k. Naturally, it's going to take quite a while. That usually takes longer than 40k down south. It's like a thousand meters of climbing. We're getting that training volume in without going too far from your house. to find jelly babies that are only red. Oh, so good. That solves a lot of problems. Everyone knows that red is the best flavour. And yet, actually, I take that back. The best flavour is the clear Haribo's or clear sweets. Oh, no, they're not. They're so nice. Well, like tutti frutti sort of flavour. Clear flavour. So we are about 20k in, 20k to go. Doing a triangle. It's completely irrelevant yeah, to everyone watching this. I'm back to near Jimmy and Emily's in the house. I think we've done a longer way here though. The route is 30k from Jimmy and Emily's. Yeah. And we've already done 20k and we've only just started on the... Oh, I don't know. It's fun! We seem to have been riding uphill and headwind for a long time now, that's sheep there. At some point that should let up and we should have a stonking tailwind all the way home. Well, I've just ridden onto a bit that's even steeper. Heading towards concert now. Oh, it's the Biff Boys bucket. Daisy, come and look at Biff Boys. Rich Mitch tagged that. Tagged that there. Got to sort out that helmet strap. We look like Lawrence. Today's ride has been the perfect ride to offset yesterday's complete smash. I was saying in yesterday's episode, I uh, substituted a turbo session, which I've been trying to miss out because it would be so miserable indoors. The intervals that I had scheduled were fly and dies. So go as hard as you can and then slowly fade off when you just can't do the power anymore. Instead of doing those, I just headed out with Nick and smashed it up every single little hill. Just quite a lot of hills. Hard day out, especially on a mountain bike 
when your mate's riding a gravel bike. It was good to get some time actually pushing power down through the pedals on the mountain bike. There's a lot of what I've been doing has been trails, so I've been concentrating so much on the technical stuff, I'm not really putting in any specific effort. So it's good to do bits like that once in a while. Almost home now, warmed up even more. No, I thought I'd be northern and wear shorts today. Perfect ride out. Did a little race, Daisy beat me home. I have found one other thing that this helmet does that my old one didn't. My new favourite helmet. Your face is the same colour as your jersey. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that the more fit I get, the less I would look like a tomato after I finish a ride, but it just, it just doesn't happen. It never gets easier, you just go faster. I'm definitely fast enough because I dropped you. Yep, you did. Does anyone else have this problem where you do an online food order and then you just, I'm not used to figuring out like if what I'm buying is really tiny. So we've ended up buying tiny red. And then they've substituted us organic bananas, but I didn't realize Very organic simple. bananas are tiny. Like what is that? You'd have to have about six to have one. Is that that thing you see on Facebook where people buy like a yoga mat on eBay and then they show it when it arrives and it's like this big? Don't come near my puzzle, mate. Back away. It's not even finished yet. We were meant to do this together and then you just don't have the attention span for a puzzle, do you? I can do about half an hour and then I really start to struggle. I struggle at the moment to like keep my brain occupied because there's a lot of stuff going on inside it and puzzles are the one thing because you concentrate so hard that manage to stop my brain from like running too much and I can just focus on this and forget about everything. I like don't look at my phone, I just crack on with it so it's kind of like a bit of therapy really. <laughs> it is therapeutic. I sometimes I'm sat here and then I see the kids playing outside and stuff and I'm just like they must be like what a lame person. Flesh -coloured pieces Where's your flesh coloured pieces? Flesh -coloured pieces? I think since moving up here I've done the most riding since 2015 back when I was actually racing you've been doing a lot too right it's so nice not having to worry about well not having to psych yourself up just to ride on the road daisy was saying on the ride today we ride for about two minutes before we we're in the equivalent of the surrey hills which would have taken us 40 minutes to get to from our house in london and to be fair our house in london wasn't really in london it was so far out that it would take you an hour to ride into the center anyway it's just so nice and enabling up here i know we bang on about it but it's a good choice. My most commonly asked question at the moment is, do you regret moving here? Really? <laughs> Which I don't think I can justify after only a month of living here, but I don't so far. I feel totally like at home. Feels at home, doesn't it? I think what is exciting is there's so much to explore and like, because there's so much to do, it it will never get old because, well, I. I can't really say that now, but it's like, we've got all of the Pennines to explore, or what I do. And then we've got all of the coast to explore. And that's in between all of the fun rides that are just available at our doorstep. So it's just, it's literally just endless. Whereas at home, it, you know, you're quite limited to where you could go. And my lockdown's over. Beers in Newcastle.